there's um, a quote by, by Charlie Munger that I find very, very interesting. Um, when he um, talks about uh, a tightrope walker, someone who walks on a tightrope uh, for 20 years. Um, and he says, uh, you know, if he's managed to do that for 20 years and survived, that means two things. One is that he is very confident about what he knows, so he can actually get himself, you know, to get to one step at a time to get through the chasm. At the same time, he's also very aware of what he doesn't know, um, otherwise he will be dead. Yeah. And I think that, that's a very, very good metaphor for both business and investing. Yeah. Um, I can think of dozens of situations where, in, 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 in both business and investing, where getting one of the two wrong can be fatal. Um, and so that's really, for me, is really one of the connecting threads uh, between the experience you can have in business and the experience you have as an investor. Um, it's not about necessarily knowing a lot of things, of course, you have to know your, your thing very, very well. And even more importantly, you have to know what you don't know so that you don't get killed in the process of trying to do something. Um, and yeah, so one, one topic or question, or, which is really open to everyone, is uh, you know, what's been, what has been your experience in terms of risk? I mean, we, we have this concept, popular, there's this popular concept of entrepreneurs being loving risk. And you know, you, you you look at Richard Branson. He's, looks, he's always looking for a way to kill himself, and he's always trying mm -hmm. to do something very crazy. And yet, he always survives, and it's, there's a reason for that. It, it, you could say the same for you know for mountaineers or people that practice extreme sports. Uh, it's really a discipline of knowing exactly how much you can you can you can push yourself, exactly how far you can go. Um, how how's, how's your journey been to, to that extent? I mean, you were talking about. Um, at the beginning, you were sort of a bit cocky for your first, because of your first success, and uh, you thought you could do everything. And then you realized uh, that you know things could go very bad very quickly. And then, yeah, to learn to think in a different way. The, um, for me, de-risking things is really just understanding what it is you're supposed to be doing. And in the early years, I had I had my entrepreneurial seizure in relation to different opportunities, and I could just see that this was a great opportunity and it was absolutely worth my while going for it, plunging into things like dysfunctional uterine bleeding in medical devices and, and, and how to um, work with a com add-in for uh, Microsoft Office products and, and the whole idea of developing software. What did I know about developing software? Well, nothing, but you know what? I'm invincible. I can learn everything and I can make it work. Um, but going into areas that I really had no business going into, that's, that was the key, the key sort of risk that I took. Um, now I don't go into business areas that I know nothing about. All I do is concentrate on what, I, what I'm really good at. And what I'm really good at is Hong Kong immigration on the one hand, and I'm getting increasingly better at this thing called the internet and you know, modern business models and what have you. So that's what I focus on. That's where my energies are. And I de-risk it just by reading, testing, you know, uh, taking a hypothesis, taking an assumption, and just, you know, bouncing it off people and just having an opportunity to see is there any merit in this or not in mm. a very, very small, low impact way, because you can do that. So now it's really just a question of, okay, what have I built so far? What have I learned? What have I discovered really as a result of having a unique business model and having relationships with our clients and, 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 and our tribe, if you will? Uh, and how all of that uh, gives me what I need to validate what I'm doing and thinking and then I'm going to incrementally improve it. So what ideas have I got about this? What do other people say about this? Have people been, have been successful with this in the past? Is it something that I should be pursuing? So it's just smart thinking really and that's how I manage risk and what I do these days is completely riskless to be honest. <laughs>